everybody. Thank you for joining me today for a Flashback Friday. It's been a minute since we've done one of these videos, uh, so I appreciate you guys taking time out of your Friday to come check out the video and watch some old school rips. Uh, real quick, show off some cool cards I got. I got this sweet PC card, Marcus Mariota Auto. It's from 2019 National Packs. Uh, private signings autograph numbered out of seven. You can see right there in the little corner. Pretty cool stuff. You can only get this out of the National Packs, so it's kind of a neat card. I like that. Definitely a PC card there. Also got this uh, pretty cool uh, Drew Locke on-card auto out of 49 from Origins. Uh, I picked this one up because I, I think he's going to be a pretty good quarterback for the Broncos. Um, uh, I know he's injured right now because he hurt like a finger or something like that. Uh, sprained it or pulled it or something, so we'll see. But I, I'm trying to invest in him because I think he's going to be pretty good for them. And then I got this other sweet PC card of A.J. Brown from Unparalleled. Patch Auto out of 75. Really cool looking card. Got that one out of a break, so that was pretty cool. Alright, so what do we have today for our Flashback Friday? We have 1997 Playoff Contenders Football. This is pretty sweet stuff here. Um, you can find leather die cut helmets, clash, plaque pennants, rookie wave pennants. There's all kinds of stuff you can find in this stuff. Um, some more of the uh, stuff, probably talk about the same thing right there. They do talk about, apparently there is find them, trade them, one of ones or something. And there's like phone number on there because back then the internet was kind of like not really a thing. So <laughs> you call this number and you do something here. Um, I'm going to take the packaging off so we can see this better, but there's the odds. I love, love looking at the odds of stuff. So let me crack this uh, cellophane off here. This thing is, you can see how dusty this thing is. Like, the caked on dust that this thing's been sitting on the shelf for years. I mean, this thing's, what, like, almost 30 years old? Come on. Thing it won't rip open at all. Okay, this is weird. Package. This is like with that really hard plastic. There we go. Okay. Jeez. This plastic has been on here for a long time. It's like super stretchy, really hard to apparently cut and this knife is pretty sharp too <laughs> that's crazy okay all right set that aside plastic from 1990s all right let's take a look at the odds here i love this is the one thing i kind of miss that panini doesn't do anymore i think they do it on certain things but not really um top still does it they put odds of what you can get in the on the boxes and packs so i like that because that's what i grew up knowing when i was a kid to see the odds and you you know like you get like some really cool insert card and you're like oh what are the odds of getting this and you look and it's like one in 300 and something you're like oh wow it just makes it feel like the card's that much you know cooler to you or something i don't know um but i like looking at these so let's take a quick look here so we have four cards per pack 30 of the hottest 97 blah 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 so we got base parallel blue there's 150 of them one in four packs base parallel level three uh silver um, a serial number to one out of 25, so that's kind of cool. And then the base parallel gold one of one playoff clash level one silver toll cards one in 48, Cra clash level two one in 192 packs, leather die cut helmets silver one in 24, leather die cut helmets level two blue one in 216, die cut helmets level three red one. Uh, one out of 25, which is the uh, numbering on it, uh, which is, uh, uh, it doesn't say the odds apparently, playoff plaques, etc., etc., playoff pennant levels, so there's different levels of stuff, there's actually numbered cards in this product, which is kind of cool, I'm trying to remember rookies, I think I looked up and uh, some of the top rookies was like Tony Gonzalez is in here, I think Jake Plummer is in here too, oh wow, look at that. Those old school red packs there. This is so cool. All right, what does this say here? Attention, playoff dealers and collectors. Somewhere in this box may contain 
uh, may be the card of every hobbyist dreams introducing 1997 contenders one of one the ultimate collectible in response to market demand for serial number and super scarce inserts playoff brings you a gold standard parallel to the already outstanding contenders base set there is only one complete set in existence so each card is one of a kind playoff will track the one of one cards throughout the country and post updates on our website playoffinc.com i guess i bet you if you go to that website it's probably gone if you are one of the few, very few extremely fortunate individuals to pull a contenders one of one please register it by calling okay interesting okay and there's a mail-in deal so there are one of ones you can find in this product that what they were doing back then is they were just tracking where they're pulled so that way they can say hey look for this one it's still out there in the wild you know that's kind of a neat thing so you kind of get an idea of what's left I don't know. it's kind of cool all right so we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve packs in this box We'll just start from the very front and work our way to the back. All right, here we go. So there's the odds on the back there too. I have no idea what these cards look like or if they stick together or anything like that. So let's see what we got here. Hopefully they don't stick. Oh yeah, they're a little sticky. Oh, this is gonna make it really fun. Oh geez. Okay. Neil O'Donnell. These are actually really nice. Oh wow, look at that. It's two sided. That's really cool. These are actually really cool looking cards. Is that a Thurman Thomas? It sure is. That's cool. I like that. Oh, here's a pennant card right here. Terry Glenn. Pennant card. Oh, it's fuzzy. Wow, look at that. It's got fuzz on it. <laughs> Playoff pennants. Terry Glenn. No numbering on that that I can see. That's a really cool looking card. I like these. It's pretty cool stuff. Put this in a sleeve. I have no idea how to identify what type this one is. But uh, it's some kind of uh, parallel of some kind. We'll, I'll figure that out later. And then this one is a Contenders Gus Faro. Um, I'm assuming that this one is... Just a base, yeah, those base. Okay. So let's see, pennant cards. Just get an idea here. Sorry if this takes a while for this video. This is a first time opening old stuff like this, so it's just kind of fun. We can learn on uh, together. So I'm guessing this is probably just a silver uh, playoff pennant level one silver one in twelve packs because it's got the silver border. That's what I would guess, and it's not numbered or anything, so. Alright, let's keep on moving here. Let's see what we got next. This one's really thick. Let's see if I can... Sometimes you can get the cards to unstick by just doing a little bit of twisting like, or bending like that, and it won't really damage the cards if you're careful. You get them to unstick from each other. Yeah. One can only hope, right? All right, so we got a Luke Kennison. Is it Kerry Collins? Kerry Collins. I think that might be a rookie. I can't remember if he's a rookie that year. What's this? Is this a leather card? That's a Steve Young. That's cool. Steve Young card. Pretty neat. Leather card. Definitely leather. Of who is this? Oh, Napoleon Kaufman. I remember him. Oh god, my cats are insane. I'm sure you can hear him yawn. That's cool. Alright, well that's that's pretty cool. Nice little insert there. Leather insert card. Already got two inserts to top it off already. Kinda neat. Okay, this one we have a Derek Alexander, a James Jett. Cool. This is a Troy Davis, just regular card. And a Drew Bledsoe. 
some of these have that really worn out look to them. You can see the top right there. Oh, what do you expect? They're old cards. All right, next pack. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so this one we have a Keenan O'Carroll, Michael Westbrook. That's cool. Oh, it looks like we get a numbered card of Kijana Carter. Or not numbered, but blue, blue version. John Elway, regular card. This one's just a, a blue parallel. I think it was like one in four packs to get a blue. All right, next pack. Okay, this one we have a Junior Seau, that's cool. A Hearth Suddler. Oh, sweet. Nice Panic Rookie Wave. Ridley Anthony. This is Elvis Garbach. So, green or silver rookie wave of um, Riedel Anthony. It's kind of cool. It's got that felt feel to it. Neat little card there. Okay, I'm gonna just pull these packs out here. So I can tell that the hit cards are the ones that are thick. Or like the inserts, so we'll try to just uh, save those for the end. Oh, maybe not. These ones that like to stick. There we go. Okay, Dave Brown. A Rick My uh, Meyer. Rick Meyer. He played for the Seattle Seahawks, I believe, for a time. Elvis Garib. <laughs> There's the Elvis card. Playoff pennant silver. On the back is this Barry Sanders. That's cool. I like that card. It's a nice card there. And then there's a silver Elvis Garrick. For the Chiefs back in the day. I don't remember this guy at all. Do not remember him. Okay. We have a Ray Carth. Sean or Stan Humphreys. These are really hard to read sometimes. Who's this blue Horace Copeland and a Herman Moore? Horace Copeland blue. Blue parallel. Alright, next pack. Try to do this as best as I can so I don't get damaged. Andre Reed, Hall of Famer. There you go. It's cool. Chris Sanders. Who's this? Joe or Jim Drunkenneller. Drunkenneller. <laughs> Never heard of that guy. Is he like uh, Steve Young's backup or something? And then a Rod Smith. We know that name. Cool. Next pack. Okay, this one we have a, a Riedel Anthony, a Carl Pickens, I remember that name, a Kirion or Byron Hansbard. And then a Jerry Rice. Dang. I swear it's all like goofed up everywhere around it. It's like almost like the the foiling is coming off. 
It's a cool card though. I like the old school cards. Dedrick Ward, uh, Jermaine Lewis, a blue Mike Cherry. Look at that. It's like completely it's on the back of this. Some of the blue came off on there. <laughs> it's completely like damaged. Not like it's a big deal. It's a Mike Cherry. And that Keyshawn Johnson. Got two packs to go. Let's see. Yeah, we'll fill up the same. All right, we got a William Henderson and Ed McCaffrey. That's cool. Christian McCaffrey's dad. Ooh, look at that. Dan Reno. Nice. A blue one. Jeff George on the back. Dan Reno blue pennant card. Got the felt on there. That's really cool looking. That's a nice looking card. Blue. Is it numbered? Not numbered that I can see. It's a very cool looking card though. Definitely digging that one. For sure. That is another top loader. see what the odds are to get that blue was it blue playoff pennants so let's see playoff pennants level one blue one in 72 packs bam look at that level two one in 72 packs and that thing at the Dan Marino let's see if I can put this in the top loader better there we go there you go pretty cool it's a nice card there our last pack we'll see what we get out of this one we can pull a numbered card. Alright. Might be just base cards, probably. Alright, we got a Zach Thomas, a Chad Lewis, a Kimball Anders, and a Bruce Smith. That will do it. A lot of base cards. A lot of them are pretty damaged for the most part, I'd say. The foil's coming off. There's corner issues that. That's what you get when you have old cards. Well, let's recap what we got here. So we got Ed McCaffrey, which is cool. A blue Mike Cherry, Jerry Rice. I think that's damaged as well. Um, Horace Copeland, uh, blue Barry Sanders. Barry actually looks like it might be okay. A Kiana Carter, blue. And then our inserts are pretty cool. I like these. Elvis Karak, a Grack, um, silver pennant card, a Riedel, a Riedel Anthony rookie wave pennant card. Not even really a pennant, just a rookie wave. A leather, um, leather helmet of Napoleon Kaufman. Pretty cool. A silver of Tony Glenn. That's really cool. Silver border pennant card of Tony Glenn. Oops. Um, the helmet, real quick, just check real quick. I'm sure you all are wondering. Level, let's see. How do you tell which one it is? So it looks silver to me because it's got the silver around it. So level one die cut helmets, level one silver, one in 24 packs. So there you go. Kind of beat the odds with that one, I'd say. And then the sweet blue um, playoff pennant uh, of Dan Marino. Really cool looking card there. Nice one. Well, that's going to do it with the break. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, Flashback Friday. I'm sorry it took 20 minutes, but uh, some of the old stuff, it's so stuck together. It's just it's one of the things you got to do. You just got to pull them apart and be careful as much as you can. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, look forward to the next video. I'll probably be taking a break here, um, not because I'm not breaking cards, but uh, I'm going to be on vacation, so I will be back 
uh, when I get back and I will pick up where I left off and we'll do more breaks. So hope you all enjoy it and have a great time. See you soon. Bye.